Hey, 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 it's G here in Cali, California. Welcome to my daily health tip, guys. Woohoo, welcome. Today is Thursday, January 18th, 2018. Woohoo, let's get excited. All right, so today I'm going to talk about um, this. The one of the article I'll be sharing today is um, <clears throat> make sure you're not making these healthy food, healthy foods mistakes. Okay, so. Um, as you know, my the articles I cover is in my Healthy You page. You can find the, the link to the Healthy You page in the description. So go there and every article I do, I place in that page so you can reference it for yourself. So so let's talk about um, these healthy food mistakes, hopefully that, that, that you, um, you know, you, that you need to avoid. Okay, so great article. Let's get educated today on healthy foods and make sure that you're not making these mistakes. Okay, so number one. Okay, so um, kale, seaweed. Uh, Guji bear. When you hear about a food that curbs this disease, or that, or that condition, you might want to dive right in. <clears throat> if some, if some right? is good, not so fast. The right amount of the right types of foods is great for you, but if you overdo it or choose the wrong kinds, it can backfire. Okay. Since every good for you food has its limits, focus on the big picture. Okay. So here we go. Too many Brazil nuts. Selenium is a nutrient that you need, but only about 55 micrograms of selenium a day. Just one Brazil nuts has 68 to 91 um, micrograms. That's more than a day's worth. Okay, so there you go. So again, you only need um, selenium. It's a great nutrient in, in the Brazilian nuts, but again, you only need 55 micrograms daily. And just one of those, you you know, one of those nuts, you can um, definitely get that, you know, get the amount you need, okay? So too much selenium can cause problems including diarrhea, nausea, skin, rashes, hair loss, and even serious side effects like trouble breathing, heart and kidney failure, and heart attacks. Adults shouldn't get more than 400 micrograms per day. That's no more than four or five Brazil nuts if you don't get selenium from anything else so there you go so four to five a day for us adults and that's sufficient that's all we need okay picking your own mushrooms these wild and woolly fungi are tasty loaded with nutrients low in calories and may even lower your risk of cancer but before you forage in your local forest keep in mind that eating the wrong kind of mushrooms can lead to anything from a, from an um, from an upset stomach to death so only Hunt for them if you're an expert or are with or are with one. Otherwise, get them from your grocery store to be safe. So just go to the grocery store and get your mushrooms, okay, guys? There you go, okay? Um, grapefruit plus certain meds. This splashy sickness could, could cause problems if you have some prescriptions, like statins for your cholesterol. Grapefruit can make your body observe more of the medicine than normal, which could lead to side effects. It may be more likely with some statins than others. And the same thing could happen with some drugs that treat other conditions. So if you're gaga for grapefruit, ask your doctor if it, if it will affect your prescription. So if you are on certain prescriptions, then you might want to talk about grapefruit. If you like grapefruit, um, there you go. So that's good to know. Uh, greens and kidney stones. Greens. Just about everyone needs to eat more veggies. Dark leafy greens like spinach are some of the best. But if you tend to get kidney stones, you'll want to watch how much you eat. These greens have a lot of oxalate, which can cause kidney stones. If you're at risk, your doctor may recommend no more than 50, I'm sorry, no more than 40 to 50 milligrams of oxa oxalate a day. And half a cup of greens can have close to 10 milligrams. So if you have a couple of servings, but don't, pack huge amounts into your green smoothie. So if you have kidney stones, again, the greens, you know, make sure you're not overdoing it and check with your doctor, okay? Too much of the wrong fish. Fish are high in protein, low in saturated fats, and high in good fats for your body needs. The catch, they absorb mercury. That's a problem for anyone, but especially pregnant women because it can harm the baby's nervous system. Each week, you can eat 12 ounces, about two meals of low mercury fish like shrimp, can, light tuna, or salmon. Avoid high mercury fish like king mackerel, orange, 
roughy shark swordfish tilefish magnesium can be a problem can you get too much water most days you likely don't drink enough of it it's not easy to get too much there are two main exceptions one is a mental health condition where you compulsively drink water the other is when you do a lot of hard exercise like marathons and you don't um, dump too much water instead of a sports drink okay so yes um, yes with anything you can overdo anything right so that's that's the whole premise of this article is not to overdo it we need to have a balanced life okay coconut oil overload more and more people have started to cook with coconut oil but many nutritionists are still skeptical why while coconut oil doesn't does have fats that boost your good cholesterol it's also bursting with saturated fat your best bet limit yourself the american heart association recommends no more than 13 grams of saturated fat a day just one tablespoon of coconut oil gives you 11 of those okay so yes coconut oil is great but it's the saturated fats that you have to watch oh sorry i thought i had to sneeze well <clears throat> Ooh, okay that went away sneeze Woohoo! all right olive oil drip don't drown olive oil may actually be good for your heart but even the best fats are loaded with calories so limit yourself to two tablespoons a day or less including what's in your food if you overdo it you could gain weight and that could offset the good the good you thought you were doing so don't overdo it with the olive oil potatoes don't go green potatoes naturally have solanine a substance that can make you sick if you eat too much it's high in it's highest in the eyes sprouts skin and any green parts of the potato still you have to eat a lot of potatoes before you had a problem a person who weighs 100 pounds would would need to eat one pound of completely green potatoes before getting sick but don't forget to remove the eyes sprouts and green parts just to be on the safe side so there you go night shades and joint pain potatoes tomatoes eggplants and peppers are all night shades they've gotten a bad rap because of solanine some say it causes joint pain but there's no research to back it up in fact yellow and purple potatoes may help with swelling which could ease pain still you know your body is best you may be sensitive to some vegetables so if they bother you avoid them okay max out on chocolate it tastes great and it has antioxidants and flavonoids which can help lower your blood pressure and protect your arteries but there are limits go gourmet lower quality chocolate usually won't have the flavonoids limit yourself to one ounce each day check the label of your bar to see how big it is stick to dark chocolate that's about 70 percent cocoa to avoid too much sugar and fat so again it's all about moderation it's all about not overdoing it we can have our chocolate dark chocolate is the best make sure it has seven percent cocoa okay 70 percent of that so check the label okay overdoing the red wine it may be good for your heart in small amounts there are still questions though <clears throat> and health risks it may be that eating grapes is just as good for you <clears throat> with none of alcohol's side effects so if you don't drink experts don't recommend that you start if you do women and men over 65 can have one small glass that's five ounce a day and no more and no other alcohol men under 65 can have two glasses so again wine is great but if you're overdoing it then that's the issue right so you can have your wine but again one one glass a day for women two glass for men is sufficient daily not more than that you know you don't want to overdo it a better way make it simple instead of obsessing over a single food fill half your plate with fruits and veggies split the other half between protein and whole grains limit how much sugar salt and saturated fat you eat mix it up when you eat a, a variety of good for you foods you meet your needs and avoid overdoing it on any one thing so the whole premise here is not to overdo it